So we have this operation called the cross product. <coughs> we know that it does some interesting stuff for it. We know that geometrically, if you have two vectors, u and v, like this, then when you take the cross product, you end up with a vector that's perpendicular to both of them. So u and v both lie in a plane, you're going to get a vector that's perpendicular to both v and to u. So let's draw a little right angle in there. This is the vector u cross v. Also know that the length of this vector, this vector will be as long as the area of the parallelogram created by u and v. So the area of this parallelogram here is going to be the same thing as the length of the cross product. But how do I know that it's this vector coming out this way and not a perpendicular vector going that way? And how can I tell which way is which? Well, the answer is something called the right-hand rule. And see, these two vectors, and if you put them tail to tail, then that's going to create a plane. Those two vectors will lie in the same plane. So we're going to tell by, we're going to start off by, by putting our hand in the plane created by those two vectors. And here's how it goes. You put your right hand, that's why it's called the right hand rule, put your right hand in the plane that the two vectors lie in. So <clears throat> you're going to put your fingers in the direction of the first vector. So your fingers are going to run out along the first vector in the cross product. And then you're going to curl them toward the second vector. So your thumb will then point in the direction of the cross product. Either you'll be cur curling towards your thumb and your thumb will come up, or you'll need, or if the other vector is over here, you're going to need to curl away from your thumb, right? And so your thumb is going to point down. Your thumb is going to point in the direction. All right, let's look at an example. We've got these two vectors here, u and v, and we need to calculate u cross v. So they lie in a plane, and we're trying to figure out we know that the cross product is perpendicular to this plane. It's either coming out at us or going down away from us. We need to figure out which one is which. So put your hand along the first vector, since the first vector is u. Put your hand that way, and let your fingers curl toward v. Now, you can see that your fingers are going to have to curl this way, right? Because v is over here on the side with your thumb. If v was over here, your fingers would have to curl the other way. So because they're curling this way, your thumb is naturally going to come up as you curl towards v. So you get thumb up. That means that u cross v, as we look down on it here, u cross v is coming up out at us. So the right hand rule tells us that's the direction of u, u cross v out of the screen towards us. Let's do another example. This time we want to do v cross u, right? Since the first vector is v, we're going to put our hand in the plane created by u and v along the first vector, along v. Now, in order for our fingers to curl toward u, our thumb is going to have to go down so that we can curl towards u. So we do that, we end up with our thumb down. That means v cross u is going into the screen. Okay, another example. Here's u cross v again. Since u is the first one, our hand is, along, is in the direction of u. Can you see that in order to curl your fingers towards v, your thumb is going to have to go down? That means u cross v is into the screen in this case. And another one, v cross u. So since v is the first one, put your hand in that plane created by u and v in the direction of v. Can you see that as your fingers curl this way, in order to curl into u, your thumb is going to have to come up. So that means v cross u is out of the board in this case. OK, so let's look at an example. Let's do i cross j. Now, we actually know quite a bit about the cross product of these because the length of i and the length of j is 1, right? Those are our standard unit vectors. So if we copy j here and we copy i there, we know that the length of i cross j has got to be equal to 1, right? Since this length is 1 and that length is 1, since these are the standard unit vectors. They're unit vectors, so their length is 1. They're perpendicular, of course, and so that means that their area is just the base times the height. It's just a, a square. Okay, now, what direction does this come? Now, in order for us to be looking down <clears throat> and see i this way and, and j that way, we must be looking down the positive z-axis. So our question is, if these lie in the xy plane, and then we know that the cross product's got to be either up the z-axis or down the z-axis, we just got to figure out which one. So put your hand in the direction of i and curl it towards j. Right? See how your thumb comes up? That must mean that i cross j is the unit vector in the direction of the positive z-axis. 
And we have a name for that vector. It's k, right? So we know i cross j is k. Well, let's do another one. j cross k. j cross k has got to be either i or minus i. Do you see why? Because j and k, this is the along the positive y-axis, and k is aligned with the positive z-axis. So you can see these in the y-z plane. Either this is either j cross k is out of the y-z plane in the positive x direction, or back into the y-z plane in the negative x direction. Which one should it be? Since we're doing j cross k, align your hand along the direction of j. I didn't get my hand lined up very well there, but okay. And now curl it towards k. Your thumb is going to come up. Ah, so j cross k is out of the board. That's the y-axis, that's the z-axis, the x-axis is this way, right? So j cross k is equal to positive i. One last example, k cross i. If you're going to do k cross i, put your hand along k, right? Curl it towards i, and your thumb is going to go down. Now let's see, i, this is the x-axis, that's aligned with the x-axis, right? k goes in the same direction as the positive z-axis. If we're looking at it in such a way that x is here and z is there, then this direction into the board must be in the direction of positive y. Positive y-axis, right? That means k cross i is j. I knew it was a unit vector because the length of k and the length of i is 1, and the sine of the angle in between them is, is 1. So I knew the area of the parallelogram created by k and i is 1, so I knew it was a unit vector, and I knew it was either along the positive x-axis or it was opposite to that, right, going in the direction of the negative y-axis. So by using the right-hand rule, I figured out it was the positive y-axis, and therefore the answer had to be j.